Nudes and booze and nudes and booze and boots and nudes and nudes and booze. <laughs> okay then. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator. What a battle we had the last time around. My god. But we overcame Snoop, we got some uh some weed, we got the blunt badge, so uh I'm gonna I'm gonna smoke that later. I'm gonna smoke this town later. So I think we're basically done here. Um there's a lot of buildings that I haven't really been in. There's a game corner. There's a prize exchange. Oh! Maybe they got Porygon. Probably not. A coin case is required. Well, come on, give me a coin case. Oh man, the classic. I need to get myself a Farfigtron. But it's so damn expensive. Farfigtron is the po Porygon of this land, I guess. Damn. Sewer stinky. Stinky sewer. Let's go down into the sewers, fellas! Hooray! Beware of wild Pokemon. I got nothing to be scared of today. I got all this level 40 Pokemans. What the hell is... I can't... And then, also... Curious. Alright. What do we find in the sewer? Oh. Miasmer. It's kind of like the Ebola Bowl thing that I found. Look at Shuri. Shuri Smash has like a giant hole in his back. What's up with that? What's up with that? Huh. Well, I don't know where the sewer leads. Where do we come out of the sewer? On the train tracks. Smell ox. Oh my god. <laughs> that thing's so stupid looking. All this stuff is level 24 or whatever. I'm not, I'm not really going to bother. I spent so long leveling up the pokes that I have that I'm probably just going to be sticking with them for quite a little while. I would maybe like to catch a Smellox, but um, maybe I'll find one that's a higher level a little later on. This ain't about filling out the Pokedex because that guy didn't ask me very nicely. Beware of wild Pokemon! Oh, there's one right next to the sign! Oh, that's pretty cool. Oil Slam. Dang. Alright, I'll catch one. I'll catch one Pokemon. If you can survive a magnitude, then, uh, then you're going in the Pokeball. How's that? Yeah, it's probably poison and something. Oh, didn't even survive. See? Level 25, super effective against level 40. Nope, nope. Not gonna happen. Oh well. What is this? Power plant? Are we going to get cancer? Let's not get cancer. Oh, it's Beehive City. Everybody's so industrious here. Wonderful! Memes Inc. Company Housing. Well, that was a quick trip to the next city, man. I'm just waiting for Fabio's party van to deliver my special cheese. Get away from me! Do not talk about cheese pizza. Do not! Hello! My brother keeps repeating that ancient meme. It wasn't funny then, and it certainly isn't funny now. Which one? Gridman? Scat Spider? I bet you don't even remember! I bet you don't even remember! Ogre Lord is love! Ogre Lord is life! Ogre Lord? Uh, mm, uh, well. Hey, it's one of those things. Mondo! Armando! Working at Memes Inc. can be difficult at times. We have to produce all sorts of different memes, be it visual, audible, or odorous. Ah, uh, probably the odorous one is the easiest, isn't it? I can make that. Hell. And here's a revive. Sweet! I'll take that any day of the week. I can actually use it in this playthrough. Daddy came home. Aw, that's so nice. Looks like an old explorer kit. Is your dad an explorer? Has he seen cool Pokemon from the, the classic regions and such? Hey, buddy. Um, yes, another trap thread. <laughs> All right, I'll just, I'll just leave you alone. I'll just leave you alone with what you're doing there. I don't want any part of it. <laughs> because traps are gay. Totally gay. Yes. I'm not gonna be scared to say it. No longer will we be scared to say traps are gay. There's nothing better in life than coming home from work to a nice warm finger box and some scub. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Hi, I'm part of the campaign board to ban the sale of scub in Beehive City. Would you like to join our cause? No. What scub? We had the weed, weed gym master, and now we've got scub. What, what, what does it do? Hello, I collect vintage finger boxes. If you find any vintage finger boxes, I'll gladly buy them from you. Finger box? You'll pay for misusing our memes? Let's battle! No, I'm kidding. 
I'm just cosplaying as a Team Karma Grunt. I was convincing, weren't I? Yes! Your sprite looks quite similar! Good job! Animating yourself exactly like the other... whatever. Look at this fat wizard! I posted the banana guy again. I'm such a funny guy. Mm, he doesn't notice you. He's too busy listening to Grand Rips Volume 7. Oh, is he browsing Mew? Mew's a good board, I'll tell you that. Hi, this is an internet cafe. Feel free to use the PCs here. Oh, can I go on the internet? This this one doesn't work. I hope the club staff don't notice that I've been torrenting many gigabytes of anime with their internet. Ah, ah, ah. Doesn't even matter in the Philippines. Torrent whatever you want. Shit's cash. <laughs> I'm battling another Pokemon Clover online on their showdown server. You should give it a try sometime. I love Pokemon Showdown! It's all complicated words and numbers that make no sense. Yeah! I don't understand these, uh, image boards. P please, I'm very shy. My mom told me I should leave my room sometime, so I come here. <laughs> Hello there, I'm trying to write a sensible and coherent post on my regular board, JP. Would you like to read it? Yes. Philia, reading janitor, IRC log, and... See cuckin' the burn word and chinky slanty face fish head and make them suck shit out of my asshole but run out of shit so I take me mom's panties and stick them up my ass and give my bum wad and fish stick shit mustache. One, soiled me blooms. Two, shadow batch in me underhatch. Three, liquid shit in Ginny's armpits. Four, shite soup for breakfast, lunch, and din din for Ginny Jin Jin. Lemeo, you cuckin' gay, give driving license to Jimmy Turd this shithole left. LFMAO. Well, what do you think? It's almost legible. Good, good attempt at, at using language. The human language. God damn it. Man, I wish I could browse red boards here too, but I don't want anyone seeing the dirty red board stuff I'd be looking at. That's true. Stay away from them red boards. Go to Mew. Go to uh, Papercraft. How about that? I heard there's a new Pokemon training place downtown called the Troll Hole. I think I'll go check it out sometime. You gotta pay the troll toll if you want to get into that boy's hole. Memes Incorporated. Another one? If you saw a cockademon coming at you out of your toilet, what would you do? I'd turn 360 degrees and walk away. That's a mistake, because he's going to jump up your butthole. Trainer tips! GameStop will not accept used copies of this game, nor will EB Games. Copy that? They probably will. They'll just give you like 50 cents for it. What'd you pay for it? Oh, 30 bucks? I'll, I'll give you 5 cents. Does anyone else love the thought of... Uh, wait, never mind. What, what were you gonna say? Please finish. Hey you, let's compare dicks. Whoever is bigger gets a fabulous prize. Alright. Whip them out. Sorry, but it looks like I got you beat. Better luck next time. Uh, okay, let's do it again though. But I'm just gonna like rub it. Rub it and chub it. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, that's too bad. Yep, it is. In it now. What's going on in here? Here's a trainer tip for you. You suck. Give up. <laughs> oh, at life. Not video games, but life. This Trumpa seems really involved in this item box cosplay. Oh, everybody's cosplaying around here. I'm a cosplay true too. I'm a cosplay as Junkrat. Junkrat from Overwatch. That's that's mainstream enough. People know what I'm talking about. And he's the police station! Hello, I'm a police officer! Right now I'm using state-of-the-art lingo translation technology to pretend I'm an underage boy on the internet. <laughs> this is a laptop we confiscated from the last guy we got to take a seat over there. Hi, I'm, I'm Chris Hansen. Why don't you take a seat over there? Hey there, here to file a complaint or just jeer at the crooks? Uh, I'll jeer. Where's the crooks? Where are you hiding them? Hello? Anybody in here? The guy in the next cell's all talk. He's only in here for shoplifting frilly clothes. Piss off before I break these bars and carve a canoe out of your torso. <laughs> wow. Sizzling snakes! You're that kid from the museum in Gaddick! I'll let you know I'm Team Karma's got a stranglehold on this here city. My superior will probably be here soon to bust me out. Then I'll give you... I'll give it to you good. Oh, little, little spoilers. Team Karma's coming. The second floor here is where we keep the bigger offenders before shipping them off to the state prison. Oh, he's going to state prison! That's fun! 
Guess this is what I get for trying to sn smuggle top secret memes out of the office. Some men just can't handle a good meme when they see it. Ain't that the truth? I'll have you know this is my seventh DUI offense. That has to be some kind of record around here or something. Well, I mean, that's pretty good. I think they take your license away after three. So you're going away for a long time, big boy! What the heck? I thought I'd be getting some underage booty by now, but when I got here, this Hanson guy told me to take a seat. And the next thing I know, I'm sitting in this jail cell. Yeah, you shouldn't have taken a seat in the jail cell. You should have run. Run out and pepper sprayed the cops or something. There's nobody in the cell. Hopefully you won't end up in here. Hey, I'm from Team Karma. Admin Leon's gonna be here any minute to bail me out, I hope. <laughs> Don't count on it. That's why they call it Team Karma, see? Because you reap what you sow! Dang! Being a slut's the easiest work in the world. All I have to do is stand around by the company housing and look for half-wasted office slaves to trick into playing with my feminine penis, and then charge them for it. <laughs> okay. Sounds, sounds like a good time, I guess. Uh, you really... Somebody really paying for that? I, I have a lot of questions. My ex-husband divorced me and took everything but this. Please take it. It only brings unpleasant memories. Oh, what is this? TM45. What'd it do? What'll it do? What'll it do? What'll it do? What'll it do? Attract. If the other... If... If the foe's the other gender, it's made infatuated and unlikely to attack. Because they weren't attracted to each other anymore, so they had divorcings. It's so sad, I didn't even know that was a thing in Pokemon. I thought everybody just got together and made eggs all the time. What's this place? Lots of businessmen from Memes Inc. come here to eat and drink after long work shifts. Sometimes I have to carry them out when they get too drunk to make it to the door. Hey, good time! I want my mask dog to evolve, so I keep feeding him burgers, but it's not working. Burp, burp. Maybe it doesn't evolve. I don't really know if it does or not. I'll have two number nines, an extra number nine with extra large, and number six with extra dip, and number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soda. A large diet soda? <laughs> Sounds like you're really cutting the fat there, fella! Hopefully my boss won't notice the alcohol on my breath when I get back from my lunch break. <laughs> He probably will. Don't worry about what he says. He paid me to be here anyway. What? What do you say? Hey, Scram, I'm on a date here. <laughs> a paid date. If I give you a hex... A hex maniac enough poke, do you think she'll have sex with me? Yes. <laughs> I can't stop eating citrus berries. I can't stop. Please help me. I just can't stop. And uh, he gives me a bunch of citrus berries. So that's good. Maybe I won't have to use, like, uh, crappy items anymore. Like the Soothe Bell? What the hell's that for? I just got a six off a 16-hour shift at Meme Zinc. Please just let me be. Nudes and booze and nudes and booze and boods and nudes and nudes and booze. <laughs> okay, then. Everybody's drunk here. I don't know what's going on. Ugh, this businessman appears to be completely inebriated. Help carry him back to his apartment? Nope. Wait, maybe he'll give me something. Are you gonna give me something? I'll help you. Alright, you feeling better? Feeling better, pal? Got something in the fridge? It should be packed with all kinds of delicious things to eat. But I'm not gonna check because I'm a very good RPG character. What happened? Last thing I remember is leaving bar after working two days straight. Did you help me get home? That's mighty kind of you, kid. Here's something to help show my gratitude. Wax incense! This incense will lower your opponent's accuracy in battle. I certainly don't need it around here when I'm trying to get sobered up. I mean, shouldn't it help you relax? Well, yeah, alcohol's a depressant. I guess you probably shouldn't uh, have that. I'll take it. I challenged my friends to a you raff you ruse competition. He lost after I showed him a picture of a hit banana undressing itself. That, that can be pretty silly. But only if you know what Pokemon Clover is! Haha! -ha! Or if you live in the in the universe. This town's pretty big too, Jesus. I love my Pangus. Pangus! It is kinda cool. It looks like a cyborg gnome robot thing. Pretty spiffy! What's in here? We're going in a circle? Hello, hello! I'm the official name raider. Want me to rate the nicknames of your Pokemon? No. Thank you. I like the names that I've given them. 
I work as a culinary arts teacher, but my students only ask questions about my feminine penis. I'm really a female, y you hear? Oh, okay. Great. Sounds like a Futanari. I think we've covered this covered this before in one of the other episodes. 4chan uh, is re really just conducive to discussions like that. Next we'll be debating about uh, cut or uncut penises. Hello there, I can rate your Pokemon's IVs. You want me to look at your Pokemon? Actually, yeah. Tell me about Philly. Alright, let me see. Your Phil, its HP has a value of 0, its attack has a value of 8, defense has a value of 12, speed has a value of 29, special attack has a value of 28, special defense has a value of 7. Overall, I'd say this Pokemon is shit. Decent. If you're not going to use this for competitive, then you're good. Come again if you need me to rate your Pokemon's IVs. Dude, he gives like exact IV counts. That's sick as fuck. Tell me about Douglas. HP 7, attack 3, defense 28, speed 25, special attack 29, special defense 28. Overall, it's pretty good. Except, uh, yeah, his HP kind of sucks. But the maximum that you can get is 31, and if they're like all 27, 28, 29, I'll, I'll take that any day of the week. Are you a bad enough dude to hit your own dick with a hammer? <laughs> no, I'm not. Dude, you played my hack? It's funny, lots of toilet humor, dude. God bless America. Amen. How can you be so retarded? The sun has no chance against the lions. They just have to attack at night and they'll win. No, the sun has a huge ball of fire and it'll burn all the fucking lions. They will all die of skin cancer, you idiot. Lions can't get skin cancer. I think only humans get skin cancer, right? Is that correct? I'm not sure. Oh, here's the, the bar again. I don't want to go to the bar. I was going to uh, do something else, I think. Is there like a gym here or something? Memes Incorporated. Memes Inc. First floor. Well, it's got Team Karma music. This region has a surprising lack of fuckable Pokemon. I mean, er, Waifumons. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Welcome to Memes Inc. where we research and craft the finest memes. Aw, oh, meme crafting ability. It's all complicated words and numbers that make no sense. That lady's face is all words and numbers that make no sense. Hey, what's going on here, everybody? The music's kind of crazy. Tell me, Decker, was getting caught a part of your plan? Probably. He wanted to come with me. Pokemon Quartz is unironically the best hack ever made. Hell yes, of course, or yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, why even bother making new hacks? You can't surpass perfection. Quartz? I don't think I played it. Maybe I should. There is a lot of Pokemon hacks out there. Um, this is the first Fakemon Pokemon hack that I've done. And I'm, I'm liking it rather well. It all started with the Fire Red Nuzlocke way back in the day. Hey, you Pokemon trainer, there's some crazy stuff going on on the above floors. Can you go check it out for me? I will. Oh, look at this. Look what's going on here. What you doing, boy? Hey, hey, talk to me. It's time for some Shack Fu! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what is this? How could you? Burglar Shaquille. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal. That's hilarious. Alright. So he's got Van Dash, that grass and dark type. I think I'm just gonna Rock Blast it. Rock Blast! And he doesn't have Focus Punch like that, uh, that gym leader. What's his name? Snoop. Snoop Dog! Had that Focus Punching Van Dash that just, uh, obliterated my, my Rock type. Mostly because Decker was missing. It was, it was not a good situation to be in. Another Van Dash. What? Why? I don't understand why you have a team of them. Actually, I do. They're kind of cool. And apparently they can learn, like, every HM. So that's, that's pretty nice. They're called HM Slaves. Hmm? You have something to say about that, 4chan? Hmm? They're like, yeah, it, it is what it is. You get it, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. It's only slightly funny. So he's cotton sporing uh, Decker, and I don't like that. I don't like it, I don't trust it. I'm just gonna keep going for, um, for Rock Blast. And it uses Sandstorm, which is really interesting. That's gonna be good for Decker, but uh, this thing's gonna get hurt by Sandstorm, I think. 
That's how it works. It doesn't have a rock or ground or steel typing to it. So maybe we good. Be cozy good. Bar Barkley? Oh my god! What is that? That's the, the two-headed basketball thing? And it evolved into Charles Barkley. This is just so out there, dude. Ah, uh, now he uses rock polish to raise his speed. Because you know that Charles Barkley, he pretty fast. Not these days, he's kind of fat and old, but... Back in the day, he, he pretty fast, you know what I'm saying? So, Magnitude does a pretty good amount of damage. He is probably going to get one hit, but it shouldn't KO me. Deku's got that defense! And he uses Rock Polish again, which is kind of silly. Why are you going to do that? You know this is your last turn. Oh, but Magnitude 5. Maybe it's not. Okay, we'll give you one more turn. One more turn, and then, and then it's all over, okay? Deal? Dealsies? Ice Ball. Ooh! Not very effective. Well, I thought it would be very effective because it's a rock type, but I guess ice is uh, super effective against ground type? Or is it not an ice type move at all? I don't know anything about this game. I quit. <laughs> Alright, defeated Burglar Shaquille. I'm eating up. Me too, bro. Pipe it up, uh. Pipe it up, uh. Maybe next time we can slam and jam. Yeah, clam jam. Clam slam. Slam jam. Space jam. Is that what you're talking about? I think that was Michael Jordan in Space Jam. What is this even? I don't even... I just injected this team! Injected them? With steroids? Hmm? Smog Smogoon Andrew. Oh, he's gonna have a pretty good team. He's got mud slacks. Oh, it's mud pants! It's a Sonic the Hedgehog with poop in his pants! That's hilarious. That's hilarious, and I don't care who we are, that's hilarious. Well, let's see what Magnitude 9 is gonna do against this thing. I'm not really scared of anything, because all my dudes are like level 40. Oh shit, it has Earthquake! That's scary. Damn, dude. Super effective. Sacked my poke. Sacked him hard. Well, let's, uh... Let's get Pecker out here, I suppose. I could do, um, Douglas as well, but that's fine. Where's my max revive? Do I have that somewhere? Yeah, I do. Here we go. Get Decker back on his feet. I didn't mean for that to happen, little buddy. It's gonna be okay. Don't you worry. This thing uses agility, which is uh, maybe all it can use. I hope it only has ground moves. That would make things really easy for me. Ooh, it knows jump kick. Holy crap. Wow. This, this thing is hurty. It's really hurty. Well, that was super effective. I guess it's fighting. Fighting and ground. That's pretty good combo. I must admit. You have another one? No, it's a smock salon. Oh, it's like that poison bird, but like the evolution of it. I see what's going on here. Let me go ahead and roost real quick while it tries to use trick. <laughs> oh, that ain't gonna work, trick. You got bitch, bitch. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, uh, let's get the rollout going. Just go ahead, keep keep using trick, that's fine. Rollout is gonna mash this thing up in probably two or three turns. So yeah, no problem there. Why does it keep trying to use trick? Does it have an item? Am I just like resistant to every other move that it has? Or is it just really confused? I guess it doesn't matter. Free experience is free experience, bruh. There you go. There he go. There he is! Alright, see you later then. Thanks for stopping by, San Diego. You cheated! Yeah, I was lagging, bro. <laughs> That's what you say if you're losing on Pokemon Showdown. I was lagging in a turn-based RPG game. This casual game's too easy. That's why I didn't win. Exactly. That's a good excuse, isn't it? Well, here's a, a floor pad. Teleport me somewhere. Oh god, it's gonna be one of these, isn't it? It's Silphco. The equivalent of Silphco. What do you mean I smell bad? Nate? Is that you? Just kidding, Nate doesn't have a motorcycle. That's my best friend, he a hobo. Don't worry about it. Oh, he's got an oil slam. Look at that thing! I kinda like it. It's got, like, personality, man. Use a sucker punch on me, but that's fine. I got pretty good defense. Magnitude 5 isn't gonna do much, though. That's not nice. That kind of sucks. 
whatever. Sucker punch me again. This is good. I like it. I like it. Right in the face. D directly in the kisser. Oh, he lived. How could he possibly live? I thought he was going to sucker punch me again. I was going to take it right on the chin like a fucking man. Just like a man. Yeah. And here comes Decker's level. Shazam! Back on top, baby! Baby boo! What it do? Uh, what else you got for me? Smellox. This guy's been down in the sewers. That much I know. Well, I don't know what a Smellox might do. Let's send out Phil. Phil can counter everything! He's got all the right moves, boy! And Mud Bomb. What's that do? Accuracy drop? Oh, nothing. Okay. Hit it with the Dragon Claw! He's got Poison Jab. Oh, and of course he gets the poison on me! Wah! Well, hopefully Dragon Claw's gonna do a good chunk. Yeah! I'm gonna work through that. That's fine. I think this thing's pretty fast, though. Yeah, look at that. He comes with the Mud Bomb quite quickly! Oh well. It's over for you! It's over! Get on out! Get on up! Everybody get down with the sickness! Or something. And he's got Toxiraptor. Oh. Oh my! That thing's pretty cool. I'd like to make like a dinosaur team, dude. That would be the shit! So, it's probably poison. Poison dragon? Let's try Dragon Claw. See how it go. Rock Tomb is not going to be very effective. I might die from poison this turn, though. Oh my, Phil! You better hang in there, buddy. Come on, little buddy! You can do it! Oh, shit, it's going to be close. <laughs> 1 HP. Yeah! Alright, okay! <laughs> That's great! I don't want uh, Rock Tomb again. Keck and Pekka are both going to get slammed by it, so... I'll go into Douglas, I do suppose, and see what happens. I thought this thing was going to come with the poison moves, but he ain't. But he ain't! Here's some uh, magnitude. Oh, he does have the poison. Dang! Should have known it. What, why the hell would you call it Toxiraptor and not give it any poison moves? It's like that raptor from Jurassic Park, Dilophosaurus, and he's spitting in everybody's eyes or something like that. And they had to arrest him, because spit is not a filtered liquid. If you pee in somebody's eyes, it's completely legal. Ask R. Kelly. This stinks. Yeah! Yeah, it do! I like the stench of my Pokemon. Uh, I mean, it's pretty cool, dude. You do you. That's all I'm saying. You can do whatever you like. Let's uh, get this antidote for Philly. And I don't really want to go out and have to come back. Not yet, at least. Oh, that's a, a super repel. I thought it was a super potion! <laughs> I had ten. Ten of each, so I got a little confused. Alright. We'll, uh, give Phil a little bit of recovery, and hopefully he'll be able to drain punch his way back to the top. That is what I am expecting, at least. We'll see if it works. Who knows? Is there a card key that I need to get or something like that? Oh, this is, uh... This is amazing! <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Um... What the hell? What am I supposed to do here? Hey, friend! What up? Welcome to Meme Zinc! Wait, no, get out! <laughs> Welcome to Mew, now get out! I love the music board. It's my favorite board on 4chan lately. All right, six pokes. They're all going to be relatively weak, I do think. <laughs> Just got a Falimbus. So, uh, I assume Thunder Punch would do something good against it. Oh, it knows Night Slash. Don't crit. Cool. Cool! Not very effective! All right, see how that Thunder Punch do. Yeah! It is a flying kitty. And now it's a flat kitty. Sail kitty! All right, give me something that I can, uh, Drain Punch. Yeah, May May. Happy to see you, little buddy. Now please, give me your health. Oh my. He used Meme. He used Meme against me. But my memes are stronger. The strongest force in the universe is memes. All right, so we got a uh, 12 HP profit from that. That's not bad. 
Give me another one. Oh, the bigger one. I know that has more HP. Give me. Gives me that. Body slam, please live. Yeah, we got it. Don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be great. Everything's gonna be fine. Damn. Look at that. Soak it up. That is super. Super duper. Neato. Right on, gang. And he's got a birdman. Birdman. It looks like ice uh, flying, so I'm gonna go with thunder punch instead of the ice punch. But both will, will screw up a flying Pokemon, so... I don't know. Maybe it's poison. It does have a, a poison type attack on it. But whatever. It's too late. It's too late. Get out. Welcome to Mew. Now get out. Alright. And he's got one of these things again. I think this is Psychic? Maybe I should switch. I think I'm gonna switch. Uh, let's go to Keck. Keck will redeem the day. Yes, indeed. Uh, Drain Kiss. Oh, Fairy. Fairy type, I think. Hmm. That's not good. It is super effective. Oh, boy. So, is it a Fairy type? Should I, should I not be in here right now? I don't know. Let's try Faint Attack. Make it faint with faint attack. Yeah! That makes good sense. Yeah, I think it is a fairy type. Not very effective with the faint attack. That make me sad. And Muddy Water is going to drop Kex accuracy. Which doesn't really matter. Because, um... Yeah, he's got that faint attack which never misses. But I am going to switch out. Let's go into... Pecker. Pecker, he a good boy. He gonna do it for us. He'll pull right through. And I also have that uh, sharp beak item, which ups the power of flying moves. I can also just get a bunch of rollouts going and see how that goes. Because we don't use rollout often enough. That's kind of like the autopilot of Pokemon. You're just uh, sending a Pokemon and you're like, okay, start rolling out. And it'll just keep going. Going and going until he misses. Well... Drain Kiss uh, means that thing gets hurt by rough skin. So hopefully it's not going to do it again. Oh, muddy water. That might screw up the rollout. Nope. We got it. We got it! And Pecker can also roost. I've got a lot of Pokemon with self-recovery. Maybe it wouldn't be impossible to Nuzlocke this game. But uh, I don't want to. I'm a little scared. <laughs> so that XP is all split up, but that's okay. And then he's got a bird. A bird that's gonna get smashed with a rock. So sad when that happens. Goodbye, Caroline! Thought you was mighty fine. But mighty fine, only got you somewhere half the time. Alright, you're supposed to lose. No, you, bitch. <laughs> Alright. So we'll continue this in the next episode, friends. I don't think I'm going to, uh. I'm gonna go out. We're gonna push this to the limit, see how far we can take it, because that's what we do around here. Alright? Anyways, please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. That is always, always appreciated. We've also got links down in the description for your clicking pleasure. We've got Twitter, we've got Discord, we've got Patreon. If you'd like to support me on any of those, it would be very, very much appreciated. This has been Pokemon Clover, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next episode, so please join us for it. And until then, friends, bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.